Good morning, Colts Nation. Welcome back to another edition of the No Horsing Around podcast, brought to you exclusively by the Lounge Room Network. As always, I'm one of your two dudes talking Colts. I'm Stephen Burton. And on today's little one-off episode, we got to talk about the news that broke a couple days ago that it looks like Carson Wentz could be on track to return for week one. What? You mean the world did not end. You mean that his foot didn't fall off. You mean that it's a possibility that the surgery went the way the Colts wanted. And you're telling me that they don't have to trade for Nick Foles or Gardner Minshew or Marcus Mariota? Or heaven forbid, I heard on their local radio here in Tennessee, Nick Mullins. Oh my God. (sighs) You mean that it could actually be not as severe as everyone tried to make it out to be. Okay, so let's backtrack this, you guys. Let's kind of run it back for a second. And let's play with this for a second. So, injures his foot. Does think about rehab. Right comes back, says, nope throw the X up on that one. You're going to get the surgery. want the best case outcome. Go get your foot taken care of. Five to 12 weeks. That's what we hear. Five to 12. Oh my God. Such a wide time frame. What on earth is happening? It's such a wide time frame. What does this even mean? What does this even mean for the Colts, for the season, for everything? Well, it means calm down, y'all. Like, Colts Nation, calm down for a second. Like, we talked about this in the video from a few weeks ago. That it was just breathe. You're going to hear all these names connected. We had no idea how this was looking. So, it looks like it, that it's going to be okay. It's possible. I mean, we're not going to talk about it in this one, but we've got the fact that Big Q might be coming back week one as well. So, these surgeries seem to have been the best case scenario. Now, don't get it wrong. There is 100% conspiracy theory people out there still. Like I said, local radio in Tennessee, they hate the Colts. Jared Stillman specifically, uh, I have a hard time listening to his show. I used to really like him, but I can't really do it much anymore because he just takes his, he just bad talks the Colts every chance he gets. Uh, And his conspiracy theory is that the Colts have floated this out there because Jacob Eason and Sam Ellinger have not looked good. And that ahead of the games, not the games, ahead of the game and also ahead of the practices with the Panthers, that it will finally be revealed to the national media that they have not looked good. Hey, ding, 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 dong. Everybody knows they haven't looked good. The local reporters, Zach Kiefer, Kevin Bowen, Greg Doyle, Stephen Holder, Mike Chappell, Bob Kravitz, everybody has said they don't look good. So guess what, idiot? There is no secret. So... You're you're not you're not breaking any news with that, but as far as leaking that Carson is doing well, dude, man, pay attention to the reports. Everybody has to pay attention to the reports. The reports have said that he looks well. He's not in a boot. He's not limping. He's at practice. Great. He's still in rest for another week. Awesome. Time frame was always five to twelve weeks. Ding dong, five to twelve weeks puts him back for game one. Take off your Titans Homer hat. And shut up. That's how I feel. That's uh, that's my little rant on local media. But he looks, he looks, at least he's getting mental reps. And Reich even said that like the day after the surgery, you guys, that it went as well as it possibly could, which put him on the front end of the timeline. So this isn't some big ploy by the Colts to, to hide everybody, to think that they're not going to make a trade. They have flat out said they're not making a trade because even worst case scenario was he missed the first couple of games. That was the worst case scenario. You're not bringing in somebody if the worst case scenario is a couple games. We've talked about this before. So let's rear this back in to obviously, you know, the news that came through was, was basically everybody and their mother breaking this news today that, he looked like he was going to be coming back and be ready for week one. I mean, you've got everybody from Chris Mortensen saying that, you know, that was the hot one, that Jacob Eason and Sam Ellinger are competing for the backup role. Yes, he said the backup role because Carson Wentz is trending to start week one, which if you've paid attention to this podcast, we fully believe that anyway. 
I, I've kind of had that. We had we put a poll out. I put a poll out on No Horse not long ago that asked that question. And about 60% of you guys, after seeing him in jersey, not in a boot, not limping, on the practice field, and getting the news that we've gotten, felt pretty decent about it. You know? So, you know, you, you've got Adam Schefter breaking the news with it. You've got Kevin Kevin Bowen, our boy Kevin Bowen, showing, hey, he's at the game, he's at the practice, he's tuned in, he's tuned on, he's right there, right next to right. He's taking as much mental reps as he can. So just, you know, it, it looks, it's promising. It's very promising that he could be back. We don't know yet. You got to see how the rehab goes. You got to see how he looks when he does kind of come back and he's on the field. He's actually taking snaps and he's actually practicing. But as far as what is happening, y'all, it's just the best case scenario. It's been the best case scenario since he had his surgery. So just breathe. It'd be fantastic, obviously, to get him back week one. There are issues with the fact that he won't have practice, but he does know the playbook. So they're going to look maybe a little rusty, but it also helps because you get this extended look in the preseason at your backup quarterback situation. Is it going to be Sam Ellinger? Is it going to be Jacob Eason? My boy Zach is covering that in a video. So make sure that you check that out too, because he's going to cover Eason versus Ellinger. Matchup of the Titans. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But it could all be flushed if it's Carson Wentz, and then you get a good look at who's going to be your backup in 2021. If the worst case scenario happens and Carson does go down, then you have an idea. So take it week by week. Take it as we get the information. But he's there. He looks like he's okay. His foot did not fall off. And he looks like he's probably going to get to play week one. Worst case scenario now is looking at week two. So I wanted to jump on here really quickly, like I said, and just cover that. You know, as always, our little updates are given to us. And we were able to do these things because of the amazing network that we're on in the Lounge Room Network, but also our amazing sponsors, One Call Technology. One Call Technology is a leading telecommunications provider in the Middle Tennessee area for 100 years of experience between all their technicians. If you think you're paying too much, if you think your phone's too old, if you have a yellow phone, it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be white. You need a new phone. Then just reach out to One Call Technology, 1 888 585 8850, or you can go to onecalltech.com. You see it scrolling at the bottom of the video. Tell them I sent you. Tell them No Horses sent you. Tell them Lounge Room. I don't care what you tell them. Tell them. And also, I want to thank everybody for <laughs> smashing that subscribe button, for tuning into the live stream that we had. It was massive. We gained a ton of subscribers. We love you guys for that. Thank you guys for hitting that. And I'm going to steal the line from the guy. Teabag that like Quentin Nelson does the D lineman. Teabag it as hard as Quentin Nelson does. Do whatever you want. Hit that subscribe. You see it up here in the lovely thing. That's not the one. It's going to be down here, right there, for you guys to hit. So hit that if you're not subscribed. Continue to check us out. We're going to be bringing tons of content to you guys throughout the week. On top of our normal about 45 hour long episode, we're going to drop these ones. So Carson may be back for week one. Take a deep breath, Colts Nation. Let's see what happens. Enjoy the preseason. Enjoy seeing Ellinger versus Eason and all the young talent, Michael Strawn, Paris Campbell, Michael Pittman, all that young talent that we have. Enjoy watching them. But just take a deep breath and just be hopeful that maybe the best case scenario possibly has taken place. I love you guys. Zach loves you even though he's not here. We're out.